So we're going to talk about DC panels. Big takeaway on a DC panel, uh, this is a really common uh, project that people take on on their boats because we all have uh, DC panels that have limited amount of breakers and it's maybe an old breaker panel and we want to make it better. First thing is anticipate growth. You're most likely going to end up needing more breakers than you need today. So if you need 20 breakers, give room at least 25 because the builder screwed up when he thought that 12 was enough and that was probably not enough within three years. There's always going to be more stuff on a boat. You might not think there is, but there is always more stuff being put on a boat. So anticipate growth. Thinking about metering, if you're going to put metering right in the panel, there's ways of doing that, even integrating battery monitors in a panel, or maybe doing a voltmeter at the panel, but using it as a crude indication of what is the voltage at the panel as a troubleshooting tool, right? That would work, not for battery capacity, but just to know that your panel is well connected to your batteries. Breaker size is really big. Um, that's labeling is key. Absolutely key. We just did that actually panel just recently on a sailboat. Change it from a traditional panel to a modern sailboat panel. And notice we are actually are labeling every single wire. But we go further than that. And this is, this is what I find, this is where I geek out and I actually love. Is we terminate all loads. And you'll see this on all the big boats as well. None of the loads are actually terminating on the panel. They're all terminating, other than the AC ones, they're actually all terminating on terminal blocks. And the reason is that you basically, this coil of water, of wire will never be undone. This will be all gauge 10 wire, and you'll ever always just simply add new loads here, but this, everything that's beautiful here, never gets touched. You're just simply adding wires to the terminal strips. Ocean Alexander does it like that. A lot of builders do it like that. It's an added step, but then your panel never looks like a rat's nest. You're just adding wires to the terminals in the back. That's how we do panels. It takes more time, of course, but if you're going to redo a panel, do it right. 